I told you that you could get a business loan in as little as 10 minutes? You're probably going to say, Kalila, what nonsense are you talking right now? That's craziness. But yep, you heard right. NCB's Quick Biz Express guarantees a loan disbursement as quickly as you could say one, two, three. So Assistant Vice President of SME Business at National Commercial Bank, Jamaica, Tanya Allgrove, joins us now to tell us more. Hi, Tanya. It is so good to see you. Welcome. Happy to be with you, Kalila. And I'm especially happy to have you because you are here to tell us about something awesome for small businesses. And I'm excited to hear all about that. It is your brand new NCB Quick Biz Express. Tell us all about it. So... I must tell you that we're really excited about this development. It's something we've been working on. Uh, we have really set our minds to trying to figure out a way to be a lot more efficient around how we get financing to our customers. As you would appreciate, SMEs oftentimes complain around about the difficulty in accessing financing and really just that process that they have to go through, which oftentimes feels very intimidating oftentimes frustrating and very time consuming. And SMEs don't have time to waste trying to navigate this kind of process with a bank. They need quick and easy. And we really set our minds to figuring out a way to do that. Now, I will share with you that this is our first foray. This is really a starting point. It's a stepping stone for us because we plan to grow it over a period of time. So what we've really done is we've really started with our existing customer base. Our existing customers are really the best place to start. The, many of them have been with us for a number of years. And really the position that we took was, how do we ensure that our customers who have been doing business with us for some time, that we can, rather than actually asking them to bring in all of this information, how do we take the information that we already have about them, mm -hmm. about their behavior, about how they're, about their business, what is important to them? How do we take that and leverage that to ensure that we can offer them something that is practical and usable in their business, but also provide it to them in a way which is simple, easy, quick. This is a Great. digital solution. It's not about the platform. It's about what it provides to that end user. So are you basically saying to me that you are eliminating paperwork for this product? This product has no paperwork except for what? a final signature because, and even that is digital. So there's no paperwork per se. They do obviously have to accept the terms and conditions, but that is done on a click and accept type approach. Genius, genius. Right. I love that. You know, this is a big pain point for businesses. I've heard somebody call it death by a thousand paper cuts, trying to get through with any type of business banking in Jamaica. And, and just the frustration of saying, I, you already have all this information. Why do I have to resubmit everything to you when you already have it on file? But with a name like Quick Biz Express, and you're calling this a lightning fast loan disbursement, I need to know... How fast are we talking about? How soon can I get my money? So if I send you an offer and you accept it, all you do is you click and accept the offer and the money should be dispersed to your account within a few minutes. Minutes? Wait, minutes. I thought you were going to say days. No, minutes. <laughs> Not even hours, minutes. Minutes. Because it's an automated process. So, you know, once you click and accept, it actually goes straight through. It's a straight through process. So it literally, as you click and accept, it goes through our systems and opens the loan and disperses it to your bank account. Wow. All right. But you did say that you have to send me an offer. So what if I want right. to access this product, but you haven't sent me an offer, but I am an NCB business client? So what I will share with you is that right now it's an algorithm-based product. So what we do is we take information and we crunch that information to really, um, you know, using all that data in a parameter-based approach to identify people who would be eligible for the offer. Mm. There is an eligibility requirement. It's just that you don't really have to, you don't have to go through all of the, the hoops to be able to get there. Now, we do obviously have other approaches that allow you to, to apply for a loan. It is still quite simple. It may take a day. That's not, that's not fully digital. That's not fully end-to-end -end because that's our next step. Because as I said to you, this is really our starting point, but we do have um, ongoing work which would allow us 
in a few months time to get to that point where we can extend this outside of this particular approach. Um, so it is something we're building out. This we already, this is what we're starting with. We want to make it a lot more broadly available to our customer base, but we are making sure that this works in a way for customers that we are proving the point. We are proving the test case. Um, and then when we put in additional systems, it would allow us to expand what we're doing in this, in this way. We want our SMEs, particularly the micro and small SMEs, who are accessing relatively small sums of money, we don't want you to have to be spending days and days and weeks trying to wait for, you know, two and a half million dollars, because this one is limited to two and a half million dollars in terms mm. of this automated approach. OK, so it's basically a pre-approved loan. You mentioned that there will be some eligibility requirements and you'll be sending offers to who uh, to your customers who are already eligible. So who might expect an offer like this? Who are the people you're targeting initially? So in the initial stages, we will be focusing heavily on customers who would fall in that sole trader space and they would be in the micro and small um, segments. So those customers in the medium and large segments, we haven't put this in place for you yet, but we are working through what we can do for those types of customers as well. So, but what I will share with you, and, and as I'm sure you'd appreciate, the vast majority of customers fall in the micro and small spaces in this country, not just within our customer base, but if you look at all the data, micro and small heavily dominate the landscape in terms of all the businesses that are registered in Jamaica. Right. So you mentioned that there's a maximum of 2.5 million. Is there Correct. any minimum? $100,000. You can get as little as $100,000. And up to 2.5 million in minutes. In minutes. I in love minutes. the convenience. And what if you need more than that amount, though? If you need more than that amount, we this particular product goes up to $15 million um, on a, and this is completely unsecured. We um, that requires um, that you would that requires that you go on our website and apply. That particular loan type takes about two days, and again, very very minimal documentation, if any at all. All you have to do for that one, you just you have to physically sign. But that application process is also very very simple. You have to provide us with almost nothing to be able to access that loan, but it does require that you sign the physical document at the back end, and it just goes straight into your bank account. Straight into your bank account. I love it. I love the ease. I love the accessibility. Going back to the eligibility requirements, though. So is there, uh, let's say, businesses that have had uh, an account with you for a certain number of years yes. or have been in business for a certain number of years? What comprises that eligibility? So the eligibility at a very base level would be that you would have had to been doing business with us for at least two years. Um, you would have had to have... Um, a certain type of account behavior. So we would be looking for customers who have fairly regular flows through their accounts. They use their accounts because, you know, obviously sometimes customers, you know, don't always, you know, they may have an account and not use it. So we do look for customers who are actively using their account in their business and, and that the, the account behavior is consistent with the type of business that you do. And in, very importantly, that you have, you have a good history on that account, meaning you're not, you know, you don't have a lot of issues with, you know, going into unapproved overdrafts, et cetera. You know, the typical things that we would, you know, that we would, that banks would look for as far as that's concerned in terms of behavior. And we obviously do look, um, we do check, make checks to see that you are a customer that's in good standing with us. So you would, you know, not have any bad debts with us and that you would have serviced any facilities to to a, to a, in, a, in a satisfactory way, those are clearly things that we would look for. But it's it tends to be fall you know fall within that space. We do have to look for you know as you recognize we are a regulated entity, so we do have to make sure that all the, you know any KYC data that we need to look for that it is there. But again, we are oftentimes able to identify that in a digital way. So typically, it wouldn't require that you bring anything else. We're really just doing the checks on the account to make sure that all of those things are in place. Yeah, you know, this is, I'm listening to you and I'm thinking this is great incentive to open up a business account with NCB so that you can start establishing that business relationship with your institution. And when, when you have things like this available, you know, it's automatically available to you as a customer. 
And I'm glad you went there, Kalila, because that was really going to be my next point, which is we really, you know, we really want to point out that having an established relationship with your financial institution and an ongoing relationship, it actually it actually comes with benefits. So we want to ensure that our customers appreciate that when you are doing business with us, we recognize that loyalty to the institution, but it also allows us, it opens up avenues for us to provide you with better services, provide you with better products, and also very important, ensure ensuring that the products and services that we present to you meet your needs. It is about, and what we're trying to do is to make sure that the products and services that we develop are in keeping with the requirements of us as a financial institution by our customers. So we're not really just creating products and services and saying, well, you know, here they are. What we're trying to do is to understand what it is that you as a customer need from us. And we're trying to ensure that we're creating those products and services around that. Perfect. Before you go, Tanya, tell us about the SME Customer Hub, ex- Customer Experience Hub. So again, we want to try to ensure this is not just about financing, because a lot of times the conversations we have around SMEs tend to be limited to financing options. Now, recognize that the vast majority of SMEs don't even borrow. And it's not necessarily because they can't borrow. Some of them, that's not how they prefer to finance their business, or they may not need it at the stage that they're at at any point in time. What we as a bank need to be doing is to be supporting our customers as a partner as they as they um, go about their daily operations of their business, running their business, and ensuring that we can provide the proper banking support to be able to support, you know, to be able to provide you with what you need to be able to go about your day-to-day business. So what we recognize is that there are a number of areas where our SMEs really require some additional assistance in certain in certain areas. So rather than really saying, look, go into your branch, talk to a branch manager, talk to a business banker, who oftentimes are have other functions that they're performing, what we said is we wanted something a lot more dedicated to ensuring that service needs that you have can be supported. So this SME support hub was set up very explicitly for this particular segment. So we don't, you know, it's not utilized by any other segment within the bank. It is specifically set up for our SME customers and it's to provide them with the, you know, services that they really can't access online necessarily, which might include certain requests, including banking online setup. So we get a lot of assistance requests for for customers who want to set themselves up on business online, but maybe don't quite know how to navigate that process. We help them with account opening. We help them to deal with other service requests. We also deal with queries. You know, if there is a if there's a complaint that needs to be made, we make sure that we're following up on it for you, getting back to you as a customer to make sure that we're sort of smoothing out that service delivery section or part of the relationship, because that is one of the areas where, you know, most customers, they go about their day-to-day business and they can do what they want. They can transfer funds online. They can, you know, make a credit card payment. That's not where the issues lie. But when an issue arises, they need to know that there's somewhere that they can reach out. They know that there's somebody who can they can speak to to help them resolve those issues. And that's what we've put in place for them. Awesome. So guys, look out for that offer from NCB. By the way, Tanya, how how will people get the offer? Will it be email? Email. Email and SSMS. Okay, so make sure, customers, that your information is up to date at NCB. So they have your current email address so that you don't miss this offer. Kalila, I think you just read my mind because that was the (laughs) next thing I was going to say was, please ensure that you are updating your information with us. The contact information that we have for our customers, we need to make sure that when we're sending out an offer, we're sending it to the right place. But there are people that we don't have email addresses for, and we really, really crave your indulgence. Provide us with that information. We are going to be using that information to provide you with improved products and services. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tanya. 
Thank you so much, Kalila. I really appreciate you having us. So make sure to follow National Commercial Bank Jamaica on Instagram. They're at NCB Jamaica. They're also on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, you can visit my website, kalilareynolds.com, for a summary of this video. Subscribe to my newsletter as well to get this information straight to your inbox. And of course, let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>